Um, it kind of blows my mind. You had both Fed presidents yesterday talking about, you know, still seeing potentially three rate hikes this year because we've seen hotter than expected inflation data. Oil prices is $85 a barrel, um, which was it's a big number. Big number. What really blew my mind, though, is if you look at that Atlanta Fed's GDP growth projection for this quarter, it's up to 2.8 percent. That's pretty awesome growth for the first quarter. And we revised up to 3.4 percent for last quarter or the fourth quarter of 2023. Uh, so I think bottom line is I'd like to see the Fed maybe talk a little more hawkish, a little less dovish, because my big concern here is if we have a hotter than expected economy, which looks like we do, the most dangerous thing the Fed can do is start cutting rates too early, which is like adding gasoline onto already, you know, hot financial market and already an economy that's really rocking and rolling. Why screw it up? So, you know? yeah, I mean, we've got two catalysts today. You've got the catalyst of uh, of Powell. We'll see what he says. You're right. Yep. We'll, yeah. we'll see if he, if he goes a little more hawkish. But then next Wednesday, we've got another CPI. And the last CPI was hotter than expected. Oil prices are on the rise. We've got all these outside events happening in terms of oil, like the bridge collapse in Baltimore or the hostilities in the Red Sea. Oil, you said 85. It's close to 86 right now. Yeah. Oil yesterday hitting its highest level since October. OPEC Plus holding their latest policy meeting right now uh, after an earlier agreement to extend output cuts. Output cuts can't be good for this situation. Well, they always say bad news comes on the installment plan, right? You have drone attacks uh, on Russian refineries. That's hurting supply. Mexico said they're going to actually have less supply come out to the market as well. So all this culmination with what's going on with Iran, Israel, the Middle East. So this is all pushing oil prices higher. But I also mentioned the one silver lining is it's also an indication that economic growth is probably picking up. I mean, if you saw those manufacturing numbers yesterday, we're above 50 or an expansion here in the U.S., but also in Europe, also globally, and even in China, if those numbers are real, I don't know. But bottom line is I also think you're starting to see global growth pick up, which also means oil prices are probably going to be much firmer than they were you know, back last year, especially at the end of the year.